y'all say what the fuck y'all can. It's y'all favorite host. I'm Jordan. Southeast Center. And who the fuck are y'all? Y'all know me. I'm Zaya. Um, do I have to like introduce myself? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> oh, I mean, if you didn't know, now you know I'm Zaya. Um, I do nails. I sell press-ons. I sell crystals. I make clothes. I also rap. And my family also has a herbalistic business, Dr. Savia Inspire, called Alkaline Healing Herbs, mm. where we dedicate to heal our body through herbal um, remedies. So if you guys are interested, you guys can follow us on Instagram. Also, we do a pop-up shop every last Sunday of the month. It's called Savvy Social Sunday. Is That's also where you can find me, my crystals, my candles, and just a whole bunch of my other work. So yeah, come by, check us out. Um, you can check out my Instagram for more of my business pages. And yeah. My name is Issa, um, like Lisa with no L, because I don't take them ever, period. I do lashes. I wrote three books. Um, oh, I'll be selling plates and stuff sometimes. I got my esthetician's license, so yeah. I can do like body massages, chemical peels, um, stuff like that. I live in Indiana right now, but I be here all the time. I be in Atlanta all the time. I'm about to go to Detroit on Sunday. I be in Canada all the time. I travel a lot. Um, oh, what else? Oh, my Instagram is real bougie. R E A L B O U J E E underscore. Um, and shit, join the team. <laughs> Bro. And we already she got know. the life I forgot to I media. forgot to introduce my boy with us, but y'all know we got the co-host wrong. You feel me, yo, bro? You already know. Hey, wrong. shout the bread, man. I'm, First of all, I made I made clothes. He said COVID is real, fool. I ain't gonna lie. COVID is real. He COVID, you say COVID is real, fool, right? That's why I got the mask. COVID on. is real as long as you don't take care of your body. That shit not real, bro. That shit not real. That shit real, bro. I ain't gonna lie. We finna get straight to it. So, what's been the biggest transition into like growing up being adults? Like, we grown as fuck. Realizing I'm old. <laughs> paying bills. Mad, bro. bro. It be like it's paying bills. Just be like it's that one week that you just gotta pay them, and it just be like, bro. Fuck. <sighs> You said what? You want to spend that money? That motherfucker. Right. Phone bill. Yeah. Studio bill. Car insurance. And I'm a little bit blessed because my people is paying for some of my stuff, like my car insurance. That's love. Shout out to my Yeah, oh God. Shout out my mama and my dad because. But yeah, so like I'm a little bit blessed, but still when I be having to pay my bills, I'll be like, damn, what the fuck? Like just imagine if I had to do this shit out for myself. Thanks. Like. Credit card bill. <laughs> credit card. You, mm -hmm. credit I don't card even bill. touch my credit mm -hmm. cards. I, I, yeah, I, I, mean, me neither. I ain't gonna lie, shorty. I, motherfuckers have a credit card. Motherfuckers be using that bitch, but it's like, it's either gonna use the credit card or your real money. It's like, you can't use both. Shit, use your real money. It's that's actually, what I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, might as well use the real bread. bread. Like, it's actually yeah, some people though. can't control themselves when it comes to stuff like that. Some people just, oh, okay, I must, I'm gonna only use a little bit and end up using the whole motherfucking thing, putting themselves in the hole yeah, and can't get out of that sure. shit because they keep borrowing it every time they try mm -hmm. and put the money back. Exactly. Right. I feel like it's a lot of discipline that comes with just it having is. a credit card because you have to make sure like yeah. you can buy anything you want. Yeah. Like, do, do I really need this right now, though? Yeah. That bitch going straight through, too. Oh, <laughs> God. Straight right? through. Especially. That motherfucker, ridiculous. Ain't no yes or no, but that bitch. Boy, they just. Do the decline, <laughs> though. They just take that bitch decline. That, that, that shit dangerous as hell. Over. <laughs> oh, bro. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. Since growing up, I feel like, yeah, biggest transition is, is fucking paying bills. And then, shit, like, when you get your own crib and shit, it's like, you be that by yourself. So All I'm like, time. that's been a transition, too, because, like, being in your OG crib, having OG little bro, then going out, I was like, damn, you you wake up, you don't got nobody irritate you, or nobody calling your name and shit. So you'll keep like, damn, you just in there. But that's been like the only thing. But these bills do be a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie to you. These bills definitely be a motherfucker. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, like basically, what all y'all said type shit, like bills be a motherfucker, uh, especially like, Navigating, navigating the world, knowing that you ain't got a motherfucker like right there telling you what and what not to do. Yeah. Like, oh, watch out for this, watch out for that. You know, shit like that. You got to be on point by yourself. So that's one of the uh, most important things. Like, especially uh, in Chicago too, bro. You know, like all that shit, all all types yeah. of shit going on. So you just got to make sure you got your head on straight and you ain't really into no bullshit. Oh, bro. Yeah. What about you, Ron? What's been like the biggest? Like, oh man, <laughs> 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 
I miss being a kid. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I definitely rushed this shit. I used you know, to be like, damn, yeah, like. They used to tell my ass, nah, <laughs> enjoy your child. Oh, bro, I'm like, man, I'm trying to be grown and shit. Go to hell. Now I'm grown, talking about damn. You gotta do everything. Yeah, that's like, Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I definitely, I definitely miss like just being able to. I ain't gonna lie, have my pops or my OG pay for anything I want. Like, shit. Boy, I ain't gonna lie, I say I want, I say I want a toy, motherfucker, buy that bitch. I say I want a phone, motherfucker, buy that bitch. Now it's like anything I want. It's like you gotta bust your own, you gotta bust her ass and work for that bitch on your own. Like. Thanks. That shit definitely different. It was just everything was fun when you was a kid, though. I ain't mm-hmm. Yeah, you feel like now you oh just now, now you see through everything like that shit. Did. But I feel like it was fun before COVID. I feel like COVID fucked it. Oh, it was all right. It was exactly. It was decent. It was decent. It was decent. I ain't gonna lie. It was decent before COVID. Like, it was, I, was, I don't know about shit. I was like, fun. Shit, it was fun before COVID. Then when COVID came, it was like, it, was, it felt like it damn near fucked that thing up. That shit was lame. I feel too. like COVID damn near fucked mm-hmm. like. I don't know. I feel like I made like. As far as like my businesses and stuff, I feel like my business has prospered when COVID happened because it was like the supply and demand of everything. Yeah. So there's nobody having anything and I'm the only one supplying it. Now I can charge extra for everything that y'all want. Bro, so it's like, you can, it kind of like, it's kind of like now, like there's a recession going on and nobody really knows about it. But right now is the best time to invest your money into anything that you want because Literally. in two years, like you could be a multimillionaire because you invested your money into mm. the right thing. Like, for example, like cryptos, NFTs, stocks. Yeah. <laughs> yo, <laughs> but, um, bro, that shit real bro. Just like investing Man. your money into that, give it a couple years, it's gonna come up. Like I feel like a lot of people during COVID that did invest their money. I don't know. Did you guys hear about like Dogecoin? Mm-hmm. And yeah. what was the Boy, other one? It was Dogecoin. Ethereum Coin, went up a lot too Ethereum. as well. Yeah, yeah. I think bro, it was that she Shiba shit. Was busting, was busting. Busting. Shiba <laughs> was busting. And Shiba was still gonna be I feel like Shiba is yeah, still, I feel like still gonna like it's still gonna be Shiba Shiba gonna and Dogecoin, I feel like it's gonna go up so much within the next five years. Cause that's how um Bitcoin was. It wasn't really doing nothing yeah. you feel me you could buy into it really easily and then all of a sudden like within the five years it literally just shot up and now it's like making hella multi-millionaires and yeah. like i said not even just through like cryptos or anything like anything that you really invest in or like business wise like right now is the perfect time to do it because it's a recession nobody's yeah. trying to do nothing everybody's trying to save onto their money everybody's, everybody's trying to hold on everything everybody's, everybody's selling, selling shit. They, okay. damn i'm losing all this bread it was like i saw like this thing on like neiman marcus or something like they having like 70 percent off sales on all designer damn. items and shit like that like From it's really neiman. like it's really <laughs> that getting inflation shit get real yeah, was, uh, it's uh, either get eight yeah, out in this yeah. bitch oh, for real yeah, most yeah, that's the name you said what yeah, Bitcoin, I feel like Bitcoin isn't really worth it now because mm-hmm. it's already done went up. But if you find a yeah. different type of cryptocurrency that would like looks like it has potential with it, like when you look at just like the ups and downs of everything, mm-hmm. like the graphs, that's what the card, like the graphs or whatever. If you look at them and see like progression throughout, that'd be a good like yeah. coin Bitcoin to invest in. Do it to scam now. Yeah. <laughs> you feel hey. me? That's free game. <laughs> hey, Y'all, them telegram methods is not real. Some of them bitches. Some of them telegram. Some of them telegram. Hey, what? Don't get me started. Cash app methods. Some of them telegram was decent. Cash app methods. Fair, 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 fair. No, don't. They for them. I don't know nothing. I, I don't know shit. I was a kid in school. We talking about a, 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 we talking about a, we talking about a video game. On the phone. We're talking about <laughs> <it>. that's thing. <laughs> Fuck is it? <laughs> but when I feel like when COVID happened, like I feel like that started a whole wave of entrepreneurs. Like it did. It I did. I seen so many. I'm like motherfuckers. You would never even imagine starting businesses with starting. Even businesses. right now, like bro, everybody's yeah. like. I doing mean, like, bro, something. It's doing, everybody's doing something. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no people to work. Like, bro, Walgreens the other day did not have no employees. They had to close because there's no employees. Don't Dude, nobody want to settle for less. Is. And that's great Man. because it's like, we're starting to realize our worth for real as yeah. a, like, colored community, as a Hispanic community, yeah. black community. And it's like, we're coming together and they're getting scared of that. Because once we we're all come black. together and we start realizing our worth, we're, we're going to be able to be the ones running this shit. Because, you, you, know, shit you know, the United <laughs> States is shit. really, like, sure. privately owned by 13 families like we're getting run by 13 private families rich yeah really rich people and like if you go out of the country it's, shit it's, out of the country one, is one, way one, different one. than it is here from money to currency different. to the rules like it's crazy 
It's yeah. hella. 13, family. It's like, the, yes, like, like the richest, family. like the, the richest, richest family. That's what they yeah, call the elite. But I'm not yeah. going to talk about that because they're going to get on like, my ass. So they, I'm going to Because motherfuckers, they try to kill some motherfuckers, but I ain't going to lie. Yeah, let's not go they, into that. They ain't kill his ass, yeah, so I, I think we straight, though. Cool. But nah. That was. Nah. I don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna lie. They they can't do shit with me. And get I'm up. so fucking dead. They gotta get up with me. Y'all that's funny though. I ain't gonna lie. So if somebody zell y'all two thousand dollars on accident, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not about to send that shit back. Hey, look, but I'm not gonna lie. I might send like one fifty back. You know, just to be nice. Just to be nice. You know, thank you. I'm gonna send you for the two thousand, but I'm gonna give you one fifty just because it was a little blessing. I'm gonna be like one fifty return. No, I'm not sending you shit. Yeah, I'm gonna send you back. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna send for real. Ain't nobody got it on the social media. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, the, <laughs> you said, gonna you lie. said what? Ain't nobody got it like me. I don't throw like 50 songs at y'all. Bro, yeah. freestyle right now. <laughs> no, I'm talking about social. Oh, I thought you were no, saying that. Can't say. nobody fuck with social in the verses. Even they was talking oh, about yeah. social. They were talking about social versus dirt. I ain't gonna fly. This new shit. album finna be old. Oh, oh my God. I'm so excited. Everybody so too That bitch finna be. Man, every Should song it. on that bitch getting played ten times. Oh, he man. definitely finna prove. I'm gonna point. crash. I don't give no fuck. I'm crashing this shit. I ain't gonna lie. I be playing muffins like Herb. Like I fuck with Herb. I fuck with Sosa shit. I be trying to switch it up. Like I be playing. So I be playing the old shit too. Like I throw some eighty shit on, some ninety shit on. Like I, I throw that. Tupac this. on. I throw you feel me, Rick? What's it? Rick Ashley on. Like I throw all that. Yeah, I like all that, that old like, Spanish music too. That should be thorough should too. Be like thorough. I listen like to the old Jamaican music. Like I listen. Bro, to all what? That vibes shit. Cartel be hidden. Like, hey, you no vibes know? cartel. That, that nigga still nasty. making music. Too. Yes, bro. That he nigga really got shit. Music that and what's the other one? Egyptian. Why ain't slow for me? TikTok for me. They be doing me like that. I forgot I the know. name of that you song. You gotta put me on to that one. I don't know that one. Yeah. Gotta put you on. What, what, I know you listen to Dan that probably just so. Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? It's him playing it in the back, really, but. Ooh! Hey, hold on, Shirley. Is, is y'all seeing Shirley? <laughs> hey, Shirley, hold on. Shirley, you gotta let that bitch play for like 30 seconds. Nah, Shirley. for oh, real. Girl. This, like, makes me
why I try to switch it up too when it yeah, comes to music. Yeah. I don't just listen to just R and B, just rap. Well, I grew up. My dad <laughs> is Italian, I'm and he cool. like Period. rock music. He plays like the guitar, so I listen to rock music. My mama is um, from like St. Thomas and stuff, the Period. island. So I listen to a lot of Jamaican music and stuff like that. And what you put in your life, like that's just what is his going be what your life is like like if you listen to rap all day killing niggas robbing mm-hmm. niggas all that Bro, shit all day it's the vibration gonna be that like Fact. if you listen to sad shit energy. broken heart it's shit literally like all day you gonna get your fucking heart broken like you gotta switch that shit up sure, niggas don't understand God. that bitches don't understand that shit either she talking to you motherfuckers oh god oh, oh shit hey, sure, y'all yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers be listening to Walker all motherfucking oh, day and then wonder why they so depressed yeah. over a nigga oh god just get in your bag why are you sitting on that shit the other shit over there like anything Throw on that Luther Vandross. Oh God, I love me. Ooh, I love me some Luther Vandross. Like, don't play. I don't know who that is. Oh man. God, a house is not a home. Luther Vandross, stop. You man. tweaking? Come on, man. <laughs> you tripping? No, I was just about to say. I was about to say. Now that Luther Vandross is crazy. Lie. You need to listen to "A House Is Not a Home." That's my favorite song yeah, by him. That motherfucker goes so hard, bro. That shit make me want to cry. For real, that motherfucker. No, that motherfucker damn near sad. What the fuck he talking about? His bitch left me in this house. Oh my home. god! Oh god! I listen to that shit when I want to be sad. Yeah, for real, no, sure. that's some right, shit. Well, y'all believe in Please white person? Please don't put it on. I do not want to be sad. In. I do not want to hear that. You do we believe? Y'all in believe in white person wrong time? I definitely do. Yes. I definitely yeah, do. Yeah. But yeah. I also believe in bitch nigga right time. Yes. <laughs> what? Oh no! Oh, what, what, what that mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. right. No, yeah, I'm kidding. No, but yeah, I do believe in white person right. Time. <laughs> like so, I just feel cool. like sometimes the universe sends you the right person at the wrong time so you can learn the mistakes, move on from it and learn how to let go. Like the universe literally sent you a person just so that you could stop doing what the fuck you're doing. They need to break your heart on purpose so you could stop going through them cycles and stop going through the same shit. Y'all got booze. Y'all got someone. I got a few. <laughs> No, these niggas are so annoying. That shit don't make no fucking sense. A nigga can't do shit for me but go to hell. Damn. Yeah. That's so oh, fast. I swear to God, anybody that know me know I do not fuck with these niggas. Like, I just I just can't. These niggas are stupid as fuck. I got hella shit going on. These niggas don't even have the bare minimum. You can't even fix a tire. If I can fix Bro, a tire, all my life, you guys are the most unmanliest oh, niggas I ever. Got a list. I'm about to pull the list out. Of, of shit that you have to have to fuck with me and this is why I don't fuck with no niggas because listen number one number hey, one got... you must have a car you need to know how to it. help or fix a car you need to have your own fucking money no felons or jailbirds you gotta be taller Heavy than me on the no you felons. have to get along with my friends and family that's so important I don't want you to have no kids no pill poppers you gotta have a job or some motion going on you gotta I'm be respectful so you can't have no acne I'm sorry I don't play that shit Ooh. Um, you have to drink water cause niggas be nasty Ooh. Hey, man. You must be open to no free experiences. Oh God, literally. And you gotta be open to like new experiences because I like doing new stuff all the time. And I hate a nigga that's like, I don't want to do that, or only because you haven't tried it. Like that's so lame to me. Um, no homeless niggas because I'm not about to be house hopping with you. Um, no overly sassy niggas because I'm the female. You gotta know how to listen. You niggas have become very sassy lately. You think I'm a good listener? I feel like I'm a good listener, so you gotta be a good listener. You can't be too cocky because I just feel like that's like sassy as fuck. And then, um, yeah, that's it, really. But that's like how the many bare number? How many is Damn. that? Y'all, that's seventeen. But listen, okay, that was listen, good. that's the bare minimum. Say, that everything good. on that list, I have. Good. I have everything on that list. So if you feel me, I can provide what I require, Period. and that's just that. But that, that's something we was talking about though. Like on a whole another episode, we was like at the end of the day, like sometimes niggas go after females that they can't keep up with. So it's like and then. Yeah, yeah, and it's like when, why when shit that? like that's why I'm like, ain't even no point of doing that because I'm why like, at the end of the day, it's that? like, damn, and at the end of the day, hey, all motherfuckers gonna do is like really look at you like, damn, like in reality, in their head, like I know motherfuckers don't be wanting to be rude sometimes, but it's like, damn, you really bummy, like because you really can't yeah. do shit. But it's oh, like, God. that's why you should only fuck with somebody you feel like that is on your level. Like, that's why I be feeling like shit be going on in these relationships. Cause it'd be like shit when you fuck with somebody that's not on your level. It's like damn, now you wonder why you stressed out. You wonder why you paying all the bills. You wonder why you mm-hmm. doing all that. Cause you fuck with somebody that don't got no drive. Like you feel me? At the end of the day, if you fuck with somebody that's same drive as you, it's like shit. Niggas it be uneducated too. too. A lot of Facts. Like, that's why I had they asked do. the question they earlier do. about just like education. Cause you have oh, a yeah. lot of people that have grown up in poverty and they just don't know how to 
bro, like people don't know the difference between there and there, where and where, here and here. Like it's a lot of shit that be two and two. That part right there. I be learning like, but on some real shit though. On some real shit, I be learning like you low key do gotta like. I be trying to be open. Like I gotta be sympathetic to motherfuckers that ain't been put in the positions to be in the right schools. Like if you is growing up in poverty, it's like damn, you only got the choice to go to like a weak ass school. That too, no but then though. you have the people that I mean, let yeah, poverty. If your, if your parents use, not push you because at the end of the day, if you a kid, I'm but talking that's about. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. We talking about though. school, shirty. We talking about school. If you a kid, shirty. Yo, parents need to be making sure you in school, making sure you doing work, all that shit. I don't not, think that they necessarily the need to, to though. Like, not necessarily. Kid, though? Yeah, not necessarily because you have kids that love school and just it's like go. Like you could be in the poorest fucking community, but there be a kid that loves school and loves going to school because they love learning and love just you know getting that extra information. So I feel like it's all about character and like trauma too because you never know what's going on at home or what's right. Going. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? So like a motherfucker like. You could send the kids to school and you was just arguing with them in the morning. Now they not even trying to learn they nothing because they mad as fuck. Like you feel me? Products in their environment. That's some, exactly what it is. You're becoming a product of your environment. Huh? That's why it depends on the school. Yeah, they don't mix well with other uh, yeah. with other kids type shit. Some kids might grow with social anxiety. Motherfuckers ain't mm-hmm. been in them. Motherfuckers ain't been in them environments in the first place. Well, it's like, mm-hmm. You can't just put motherfuckers in just these weird ass predicaments and think like I bet my but sometimes you to. have to so that you could get comfortable so with the uncomfortable yes. there's like some people that have never even been to the downtown of Chicago like that have lived here their whole lives and never been to yeah. downtown yeah. that's because they're becoming a product of their environment like some people don't have the motivation or dedication to actually to become something different than what they've seen their whole life you feel me like yeah. it's just a lot of people are comfortable in like that cycle and they don't even want to break that cycle because they mm-hmm. shit they used to that shit and everybody around them is doing that too so they just feel like well this is what i've always seen this is what i'm used to this is what is comfortable and niggas and bitches don't like to break out and explore new shit especially if you're in an environment that's like pressuring you to be something negative i feel like a lot of like new and day and age like rappers and stuff have a lot of influence on like the younger generation now and it's becoming kind of like ridiculous on how they portray like the life that you're supposed to live like a lot of rappers now just promote killing selling drugs and stuff like that which is why even do it like and don't even do it and then now you have these kids ain't never even been nowhere near no more like now you have these kids out here playing with guns and like bro these these little is like fucking 12 playing with like Dracos and shit like you you're putting that into the community and that's what's gonna become of the community when you do that and I don't feel like the people of this generation or that generation I, I don't know is it our generation or is it like there's a generation before us that's really right it's, now it's, it's our generation and yeah. it's a generation so it's like us. they're not really like seeing and then it's like oh well we have so many killings and all this shit is happening. Well, we're not being like, we're not taking accountability for the parts that we play in making our environment and our community the way that we do. You're not putting it into the community. You're not helping the community. I bet, let me ask y'all a question. How many of y'all, when y'all see a homeless person, y'all give them a dollar? It depends on what my heart says. It depends on But you wanna know something? Not everybody does that. You yeah. probably your your parents probably told you well you give and you get when you give something to somebody you unfortunately receive you receive a blessing yeah. back. Some people have never even heard of that shit because they've never even been taught on they the right think about shit like of that. like having that right foundation to actually like think about that like what is it? It's the mindset of abundance. Like you don't have the mindset to give it so that you get it all back. Like spend that shit, basically get it right yeah, back. Right, you feel right, me? It's that's right. it's the mindset of abundance. Like that's what's keeping our people trapped. The mindset of abundance, the mindset of prosperity. Just another thing is like people aren't comfortable with being themselves. We have a lot of people that have been masking themselves and masking who they are because they're simply scared of society and facts. what they Damn. what they would like say about facts. them. Like bro, you wanna facts. know how many people have called me weird because I'm myself and I don't me personally I don't give a fuck yeah, what a motherfucker say about me. Like I don't care about what you say. That's you how can they say feel I'm weird. This, so. Yeah, but like it's a problem because it's like you're always projecting onto somebody time. else and it's like now we have this standard that you can't wake up with messy hair or you can't do this you can't do that because social media is number one social media is fucking crazy with the standards that they like uphold with relationships Surely, with social self. media i was just gonna say like, social media like a really high motherfuckers like that shit then turn into like a game to where it's like you feel me you could be literally 
anybody you want to be this shit like, chess anybody. not checkers like, and, and a lot real. of motherfuckers like a lot of motherfuckers what do fuck motherfuckers up is like you said like a lot of them, even even what they do project is not they self like a lot of motherfuckers is one way in real life who out the band but then like on social media it's like a whole nother image that they putting out and it's like, like you said, like that should be poison in the environment because it's like them that you got all these. And like people, by any like, means, it's always okay to like try to experiment with something else. Like you know, it's never wrong to try to change yourself. I feel like that's looked upon too, like changing. You can grow. Like, like people yeah. look so like, especially like people that you probably grown up with or something like that. Like you grow up with them, and now you're changing. You're becoming an adult, and it's like, well, I don't know you no more because you're a different person. And like it becomes envy or it becomes jealousy when it's not supposed to become that. It's just we're growing and we we're going fuck. We're, right we're growing onto two separate paths and your path is going this way and my path is going this way there's no bad blood but at the same time my path cannot handle you and your path can't handle me so we just Literally. need to go our paths like and i feel like especially with our age like that is something that's like really big because i feel like a lot of people get into like disagreements or altercations because of people like that they've grown up with not clicking no more and it's like some type of animosity when it's really just you guys don't connect no more you guys don't like don't a lot of people trauma bond so like you've been, you've went through this you hitting a you, lot of like you went through, you went through this well i went through this too so let's be friends now when y'all don't have the trauma bond no more y'all don't know how to be friends because y'all trauma bonded y'all don't know what else to talk about other than the trauma which is why like not to come on guys but like a lot of the guys you guys bond with your homies because you guys then literally probably slept in houses before on the floor together that's your trauma bond but you guys don't realize how bad your homies are for you sometimes that's because you you're blinded and then it's like Sex. now you get back door or now somebody done took somebody bitch and now y'all into it or somebody done took somebody because you don't even know it's the because person for real. you're yeah. looking at somebody from oh i grew up with you but you don't know what a motherfucker do behind closed doors you don't even know yourself every day i wake up and i'm somebody different so for you to think you know me is crazy. <laughs> like, it's crazy. That shit is ridiculous. Yeah, like, you feel me? And it's like, you don't even try to, a lot of people don't even try to get to know their friends for real or try to get to know themselves for real, which is where that um, feeling of, what is it? That like, I guess I it's like, know. you could say like ego takes over a little yeah. bit and tries yeah. to like mask yourself from being your true authentic self. And it's like, now you're just masked. And everybody's just fake it with everybody. I'll be walking into the club sometimes and I'll be seeing everybody just like, and it'd be like, damn, this should look like a video game, bro. Like, just we're just all this. Sims yeah. in this bitch. Like, I say this all the damn, time. Damn, what it's like. Ain't none of this shit real. We are it's in a simulation. Yeah, like, this is me flesh. Real. I'm a piece of energy. Like, I'm, I'm very spiritual, like, 100% Fact. on that. Like, I don't believe, I believe in God. But I don't believe in like the white God. That is not my God. God is brown. He's Middle Eastern. You feel me? Like, but I'm very spiritual when it comes to this, like Facts. helping yourself, your spiritual hygiene, like growing. Like a lot growing, of people don't want to grow say, because yeah. they're so scared to experience the new step. And it's like, what's stopping you? Motherfuckers are scared to look in the mirror. That be it. Like it's it's look always that one thing. Mind. Like it's easy to blame somebody else for shit. Like you know, mm -hmm. I feel like that's what a lot of motherfuckers. Accountability do. Like, is really low. Like there's no accountability that's at all. You think, you think you think people need better uh, role models or like a higher like? Surely. I feel like role yeah. models isn't the problem though. Because yes, it like, is. Because I me, feel like it's, it's when you got role models. I, it is but part of the problem, the but it's not the whole problem. Because not not to like, I'm not gonna over saying my life but like i didn't grow up with the best role models i bet y'all didn't grow up with the best role models either but yeah, we're no. doing better as fuck than we did than the people yeah. that we had you see what we had so it's like, yeah. i feel like we don't need role models we just need better i feel like first of all when you have kids you need to be prepared to have kids that's first that's and foremost nice. that you can teach them yeah. the right things and communicate with them that's where the first step starts is just being able to communicate and comprehend with your kids so that way when they grow up they don't have to not be scared to communicate or like well, a lot be of people themselves. can't communicate now a lot of be, us in this generation and that's like a generational curse that they get it is oh, it definitely yeah. is these can't nobody our age really sit no, no, and and no, talk no, about no, no, no. things that bother them and no, if you no, are no, you're no, on a totally yeah. different level you're like above because everybody else even people older than us like i look at like my older cousins and, and stuff like that and they go through the same problems you know that i do like even with just communication, people just can't talk to each other. Like how you were saying earlier, people always think something's beef or something if you just grow apart because nobody, no, everybody's just assuming the worst. 
because everybody low key wants a problem, and that's just jealousy. And then you got the people that are just angry and fighting a war with themselves. They take it out on everybody. Literally. And then you got the people. Yeah. This is the other people that yeah, I I hundred percent feel for. Like then you got the people that have PTSD or just like have been through so much in their lifetime that they've done seen so much that they don't know how to process half of the stuff that they don't see, and they, they take it out and they project it in wrong ways, which is like therapy. I remember growing up, like I always told my mom I didn't want to go to therapy because that. that that's like that white people shit. Like it, it's always been yeah, that white people shit. Though. But like now that I'm older, bro, I fucking need therapy. Like this shit is yeah, like crazy. Like it's been so much in my life that I just have to sit down and like really untangle. And it's not just me. It's like everybody. Everybody has shit in their lives that they have to look back on. Oh, bro, and it like man. literally like you come full circle when you realize it. Like oh, damn, bro. this is why I act like this because this happened when I was little. Like it's literally, literally just one yeah. thing. That other yeah. perspective be like so like perspective. Yeah. Word bro. of the day, perspective. Perspective. <laughs> think of it like you know, think of yeah. it like using a microscope and zooming out perspective and you just look at everything on top of the microscope. It's crazy how shit just clicks. She just hey, no, she, she sound like me. Angle. I she she really putting all that shit together though. Like, Yeah, yeah. I'm amazing. very spiritual. Oh, that shit amazing though. No bad. Motherfuckers definitely. I had to. I went on like a whole spiritual journey. That shit. Have y'all taken shrooms? Yes. Hell I ain't yeah. fucking no shrooms though. Bro. Yeah. I, I fucking love I shrooms. Wanted, I wanted hey, to, but I Hey, let me tell y'all something. When I first started taking shrooms, everybody said I was a crackhead. And I'm looking to the camera well, for everybody that, that said I was a crackhead. Fuck y'all. They told me that too. I'm more spiritually aware than any of y'all bitches will ever be. Oh, oh God. God. Fuck you, Tom, though. That like, was one of the best things that I've ever It's so crazy done. because I remember that shit was like you so looked down right upon. You do have to be Yes, you do. And you have to be around the wrong right people. Because the wrong people, bro, you will have a bad trip. You got a bad trip story. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Shorty, I was like, so look, I was sitting on the couch, right? And then I don't know, I just blanked out. It was a high dose of ass. I ain't take. I took shrooms for a little bit. I just That's see a fucking big. zebra with snake legs, bro. I don't know if I was dreaming or what. Acid bro. is a Acid hallucinogenic is drug. Right. Shorty, I was. Yes. So are shrooms, but they're natural though. Acid is like a party drug. That Ooh. shit is not good. You want to know the crazy thing I've heard? Because it, it, it fucks with your mind when you take acid shrooms for a long you time. Your though. brain cells get fucked shrooms, up. Did you know that? Shrooms yeah, natural. I know. Yeah, I learned this really cool thing when I took this um like so class be. thing. It was for neurology. So basically like acid, there's a brain in your frontal lobe, like mm. right here or something like that, that it's like a nerve. And when you take acid, it opens that nerve and that nerve is con like connected to depression, which why sometimes if you take acid and you have a bad trip, it opens that nerve so that you're like always depressed and like mopey and shit. Well, shrooms actually shrinks that nerve. So it's like a cleanser. Like shrooms is a cleansing drug. It's a herb. Right. So like- Weed is a herb. That's all natural remedies. Like you can use shrooms to cleanse yourself of emotions. You can use yeah, shrooms to yeah, cleanse facts. yourself of like anything. And <laughs> usually when you take shrooms, you probably cry sometimes too. Because yeah, it's I'll like be seeing that shit sometimes. It'd be a lot. Like you start you start looking <laughs> back at your whole life and be yeah, like, Oh my God. Damn. Yeah, it, it is. Amazing though, bro. I've got to bring out some. And it's not but what I thought it was. Podcast podcast yeah. I that thought that I was so gonna wrong. be seeing nah. stuff when that I was be so wrong. Wrong. But it was more of like, no, no, you could, oh, yeah. you could no, eat wait. it. Yeah. You cannot drive. They have chocolate bars. Yeah, they got the they candy got bars. They got chocolate bars. Yeah, don't and then, and and then yeah. you eat the chocolate bar and then just smoke like an hour after, bro. That shit finna hit. You gonna be like, he gonna be high as hell. He gonna be high. You feel everything. I felt everything. Sure, y'all yeah, go for that shit. Both of you got to say like, it. It's like, it's not bad. Acid is bad. Dead, dude. Yeah, Acid when I was off stage, I just felt bad like I, I seen a lot of myself. Like, yes. for the first time, like, I really seen myself and, I, and my thoughts was so clear. And the first time that I had did them, I had did them, I was hanging out with these girls mm -hmm. that I, I didn't know they wasn't my friends at the time. But um, mm -hmm. everything, like, I was tweaking out so hard, y'all. Like, everything looked so weird. Like, I was really having, damn near having a panic attack on them. And I really couldn't understand why. I just thought I was high or whatever, but I had did them a second time and, and it was just so much better. And I just felt like my, like you said, like my body was like cleansed, like my soul was cleansed and I could see myself and everything euphoric was just clear. Was exactly, wrong. like a euphoric feeling, sure. exactly what it was. People don't understand that you have to cleanse oh, yourself yeah. like low key, like monthly. And that's a good way to do it is just like yeah, taking yeah. shrooms or even like, I know some people look down upon like sage and stuff like that, but just like any type of sacred smoke, even just like 
cleaning up your house and like reorganizing bro, and that's, shit. Yeah. That's literally like cleansing. Oh, it, like some people un- don't understand why they're so depressed and everything. And it's like you haven't even taken the initiative to actually try something different to try to help you. Some yeah, people you look the at the doctors. Clean, you on the and, right path. Yeah, you know, like, when you get that instant urge, like, gee, I gotta clean this. Bro, <laughs> what? And then after you don't oh, clean bro, it, you light a candle. Bro, that bro, should be. Oh, bro, you be like, just be like the cherry outside. Bro, you can't do shit else until you get that shit done, bro. It is. Say what? It is. Yeah, I was scared of it at first, but I'll take I fuck with the like, incense and shit. I be having no bitches. Do you guys meditate? Yes. Yeah, I meditate. Yeah. I love yeah. that. I like, yeah, I that shit necessary. I, I be like, using yeah. guided meditations. Like, guided meditations are really good. The yes. Is fair. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I be in my own moment, man. I love it. Sometimes I be in silence. Sometimes though, that should be working for me. But guided meditations, I. I I think it's their voice problem. I like yeah. the silent Because that's, that's what my therapist was telling me. She was like, you feel me? You got to find the right guy in meditation because like at the end of the day, like it'd be like, you would hit a voice and be like, ah, everybody like why you meditating? You'd be like, ah, yeah, voice. definitely. Yeah, everybody got different ways to meditate. Yeah, yeah. so that's why it's like Some you gotta find your own. Like, on their back and closing their eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like I didn't see him motherfuckers like on the beach and shit. Just yeah, some people out. be sun gazing. Oh, like, oh my gosh, I love sun gazing. Sun gazing is like top, top tier. Grounding too. That's grounding. Yeah, grounding. Yeah, yes. Y'all yeah, start taking care of y'all bodies and y'all spiritual like health, oh, like for real. This is some real shit. Like we you know, spiritual right now, attacks are real. Like people, I don't know if you guys know what the evil eye is either, but people will send you the evil eye and it's negative energy, and that just I got comes from signs in my career. Yeah, it's, oh, bro, the it's, evil eye it's, signs. It's, it's, oh, it's real out here. Like people, you don't ever know. Everything is what? What the fuck? Wizards of Waverly Place said. Everything body, is not what it seems. Da 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 da. Balance of things, but yeah, like. Like, everything's not what it seems. Okay. I do. <laughs> I'm really with this shit. Oh, bro, <laughs> man, that music shit. That music shit just. Did yes, like, y'all. Hey, y'all want to know something crazy that I have what? learned in this life is that when things happen, like you are doomed to repeat yourself unless you change your cycle yeah. up. I have learned that so many times, and I feel like I didn't even really learn that Fact. until this year because I've been noticing like Fact. this year everything that has happened to me is just a different version of. Last year, and I thought that shit was crazy. I'm It'd like, like damn, like, that's oh, bro. I'm this chapter like, two, chapter three. Ex nigga locked up and shit, niggas. You right, all type of shit. It like, and it's the same yeah. exact thing as last year. And I just noticed, like, wow, I will. People will really be stuck in a whole cycle and not even notice because it'll just be like a different version it's of what story. you was going through. Yeah. And if you don't like change that shit up, same like you go just keep player. doing it, keep same doing game, it, keep doing it, and you gonna wonder why. Like, that's why people be like, I just feel like my life is like fake or like I'm watching a that movie. I don't heard people say that before. Vu. Cause like you just live in the same exact life. life every single day. You're not changing that shit up. You making it hard for yourself to oh learn God, and to grow. You feel me? You so how do y'all feel about like astral projection? Uh, that one I don't know. You don't know. Don't do you know, know about astral projection? Ah. That shit actually real. I ain't gonna lie. So like astral projection is basically like you could do it. Don't move at all. Yeah, like ba- okay. So like <laughs> that's all I can say. That's yeah, it's literally it's like it's very serious. You want to scratch? It's very serious. But yeah. you like it's literally don't like okay. Like so there's nine dimensions. You know how they say cats like ba- nine like nine lives. lives. There's nine dimensions. Where right now this is the third dimension. The fourth dimension is when you go to sleep and you like dream and shit. That's when your subconscious comes awake and you start like you know just seeing everything. Why do you think that you guys have dreams? Everything that is in your dreams you've seen Gee, before. Dream. Dreams is a different. You don't dream. Do you though. smoke before you go to sleep? That's why you don't dream. Yeah, yeah lie, that's why you don't go to sleep. That's, that's why you don't dream. That shit. Real, I just fixed bro. your problem. That's, yeah, that's some real yeah. shit. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta figure yourself out more than you realize. Yeah, you gotta like. Take some time to think yourself. I don't dream at all. Like I just go to sleep and I open my eyes. It'd be and I'd black. Be like, Damn, it's, <laughs> it's the weed. Like, the weed will really stop you from dreaming, and it's uh, not like that, on purpose. They, they don't be blind for. They say weed coma for angle. Like, weed coma oh, for real. For yeah, real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. They don't be lying. Like, <laughs> they don't be lying. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> drink a lot of water before you go to sleep. Yes, drink a lot of water. Oh God. Sure, that's why like sometimes it's sometimes in the middle of the night when you be waking up out of breath and stuff. That's because your astral project. Thing. That's why. That's yeah, because you're astral projecting. Like you oh God! Or like oh, yeah. you're in the middle of a dream and you're running yeah. and you just like wake up. That's you astral projecting. I had a dream. I was falling one time. My mom, I'm 
the fuck? Oh, bro, I'm like, Shreddy, I thought I was finna bust my shit. Like, I'm jumped, like, I jumped on the building. I jeans, but I must have said, bro, I need to smoke. <laughs> so, oh, bro, I'm in mean, that heart <laughs> racing this shit. I wake up. Like, hold on. Yeah. This this a little bit just, too much. Oh, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That shit Y'all all sound Is so it weird or unexplained? It's like, it's not weird. Y'all it's Chicago actually, sometimes it's I feel good though. Oh, We're all God. the same and different at the same time. Y'all ever had like sleep paralysis too? Wait, sleep paralysis? What? No. No, I don't want to pray against that right, right now. Jesus Christ, so don't bring that apart. That happened to me like no, one time. Oh, God, yeah, when I was young as fuck, like one time I was sleeping, I woke up and I seen a, a nigga in my room Is and I'm, I can't move. I'm like, oh my God, no, this nigga gonna take me. I thought it was over within like five, sure. like literally five seconds after that, he was just gone. I was like, I don't know about that. I just know I was just in my room to sleep. I could not move. I'm just in that bitch. <laughs> Oh God, you help, just can't bitch. move. You sitting there <laughs> looking help, stupid. Bitch. I was young as hell. I was like, I was seven, eight or some shit. Where y'all see y'all self in the next five years? Rich as fuck. Um, I see myself Dude, owning an island oh, with oh, a oh, plane period. and having multiple non for profits. I really want to help the community, like maybe building some buildings for like homeless people or no just bad. like you know like. People that are in poverty. That's I'm where we like came from. Hotels. Them yeah, like, oh God. Ass, but I'm really heavy on the plane and the island. Damn, I oh God. Gotta have an island, bro. Gotta, gotta have an island, and then you gotta have a plane to get there. All right, bro. I got, you know I got. I'm gonna copyright that shit. No, we said good. five years, five right? Years. Yeah. And okay. five fucking years. fucking bazillionaire. I, mean, I want oh, to. Um, oh, I mean, in five years, I want to know where I want to set my life up for real, like, and really set down. Cause I know I don't want to live in Indiana. I don't want to live here. I don't want to live. I don't know. I just want to know. Keep traveling, bro. Exactly. I, I just want to know I where I want to live for real and like really start my life, like build a family, get a store, Facts. you know, like really just set up somewhere. That's what I want to do in five years because I'm I'm going to use all this time to travel. I don't got no kids. I don't got no Heavy man. Heavy on fuck them oh. kids. Nobody. <laughs> it's just me. Bye. That's why I'm here right now, y'all. Because I just be traveling. Heavy on the fucking yeah, kids. Literally. All the time. Traveling. Maybe five. Well. I want to, I want to, I want to, uh, I want to feel like a grass. Field. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like agriculture. Like, I was just about to say like, like to grow shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is so yeah. not growing yeah. your own produce. Oh God. Like, I want a house where I can see the stars and like just to sit there. You're trying nice. to live a country That's life. That's so nice. No, nah, not a country life. But I want to like have Like Wisconsin or some shit. I mean, you sure you better go with your kid for like away from motherfuckers. Like you want to be secluded. I'm slight introverted, but I still live around the city. Like I want that lost shit. You talking about a field though. I want both though. Like I was going to say you got to have a crib. You got to have a crib deep in the woods. Then you got to have a crib DT. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And for Curious George, he's just having a house in the country and shit. Yeah, he's rich as fuck. Yeah, he got a monkey and a fucking. He got a monkey. Oh god, he said a monkey that monkey that douches. That was a monkey that smart as hell. That was a it was a monkey. A curious monkey, folks. But he stayed getting into shit though, so it's like. Yeah. Hey, he stayed getting into some shit. Where you see yourself five years? Uh, in the next five years, I see myself shit helping. Helping motherfuckers do the same shit I do, basically. Like, not really, not really like this shit, but like helping them find themselves create creative wise, like find their true potential, like their true calling in life. And so, some people like you know music, design, whatever, whatever your niche is. Like some people be hard. Like some people, some people can't uh, socialize really well. Some people not good with uh, being in different environments that's not their own, like leaving a city, leaving a hometown and shit. So I just find myself having like this center type community where everybody can just come together, vibe out, network, support each other and shit. But shit, once that you get that together, we can collaborate. On oh, phone oh, no. Okay. okay. Right, well, uh, shit, I feel like five years from now, shit. Um, like I definitely, I'm a people, like I'm a people person, just not a people person. So. I feel like like you like friendly, I, but get the fuck out of my face. Yeah, I like, like that too. I don't like I, like I bro, I ask you your I like name, and then I'll be like, all right, that's cool. I got your name. Bro. I got like you feel yeah, me. I got your age. That's cool, lie. but that's a little bit too much. Now I'm gonna need you to back but up. See, I don't even do the name shit. I'm the oh, type of nigga. I just, that's a little bit rude. Oh, what? But not, <laughs> not like that. Like motherfuckers say what's up to me, then you feel me. What's up? What's up? But you feel me? I just be like, I'm the type of nigga that be just in the cut somewhere. You feel me? I don't know, but like five years from now, like I always my my passion is people. So like. I definitely just want to help create opportunities for people. Like, I don't get no fuck what type of opportunity it is. That's why, like, five years from now, I can see, I could actually see it happening. Like, yeah. building, like, studios like this and having 
other people be able to make podcasts, make music, make whatever it is they can, and it be reasonably be priced. Like, like I said, we got a whole vision behind this, but what we doing here, but it's like, I want it to be where people put their music on our platform for free. So yes. everything we would be doing would, would be free. We would be getting paid by sponsors and big, big shit outside of that. But to the public and to people that's actually tunneling and shit like that, that don't got the resources, cause you feel me? I didn't grew up in motherfucking positions where I wanted to do something, but I can't, cause you feel me, we just can't afford it. So you feel me, it's like at the end of the day, I have somewhere it's like, all right, the kids can come, be do what they want to do, you feel me? Like basically like you saying, but just yeah, like yeah, yeah. you feel me, they got a studio or they got if they wanna rap, they can rap, or if they wanna play games, they got games, like you feel me, they just got different shit to do. Diversity, yeah, you feel me, they just it got to be like a multi purpose center. Yeah, like oh, some God. shit like that, you feel me? And we'll be What's recording that bitch. What's your name? Hmm? What's your name? It's A C N. You feel me? How can you tell me That's what's up. Yeah. Call me, I'll make the merch. Hey bro, we locked in, so we know we got the merch on the shit in there. I know a lot yeah, of stuff. Alright, so, all right, so we finna get we finna get to some crazy. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, what do y'all consider cheating in a relationship? Like what what's what's considered right, cheating? Because so like, so people would be like, oh, he ask. cheated on me. me. Yeah. Oh, I got some shit. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, motherfuckers be like, oh, he cheated on me, but he was just texting somebody. So like what's cheating to a motherfucker? Like, what's actually cheating? You being dishonest, that's fucking cheating, period point blank. I don't give a fuck. Period, point blank. Because if you're trying to hide some shit uh, like from me, you're trying to lie to me, what the fuck? That's fucking weird. You'll lie to me about some little shit. You'll lie about any motherfucking thing with your nasty ass. <laughs> that shit's so fucking nasty. I swear to God, these niggas are so nasty. And these bitches be nasty too. Woo! These hoes be nasty too. Woo! Uh, these hoes be nasty oh, too. Man. These niggas be nasty. Like uh, Everybody nasty. Everybody, everybody just everybody. nasty. Everybody's liars. Everybody just be lying and cheating and stealing and you can read nasty. You that shit though. What? You can read through that shit though. Like right. when a motherfucker lying to you. Oh you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah but know. all that all that. All that. if you have to think about am I cheating right now? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Period point blank. If you gotta think about it on God. Yeah, that's facts. I don't know, like I don't know neither. I'm trying to I've honestly it. like to be like a hundred percent completely honest, I've never been in a relationship, so like I don't even know. I, I don't even know what I would get. I would never get mad. Like I'm not one of them. Like bro, I'm not no like over push over. Like you feel me? You liking a bitch picture? That's cool. You want to inbox a bitch? I don't give a fuck. You want to play the game? We go play it worse. <laughs> oh, like man. I'm not. I'm not one of them. Yeah. Like I'm really not one of them. I don't give a fuck. You like you gonna do you? I'm finna do me, and you gonna be mad when you see me doing me. Yeah. Cause I'm finna do me, and the niggas that I'm doing me with. Them niggas you look up to. <laughs> you feel me? Like ruthless. I was saying, you feel me? Ruthless. No, what would really be ruthless is fucking with his barber. But that's a different type of ruthless. The nigga that put you on B. Damn, I'm so really to put you on. Me personally, look, I'm finna let y'all know. Just now. imagine. Hey, I grew up. I grew up with all boys, so like. I, that's a, that's, I know the game. Like that's yeah, why I've yeah, honestly yeah. never been in a relationship because they try to run that little shit by me. That's cool. You cheat first. I cheat worse. That's Same period. Point blank. Me, like you feel me? Oh God, we don't even play that shit. shit. I don't. I don't. My know. sister told me all about the. Oh, oh God, and it's like some crazy when you grow up with the opposite sex. They like literally put yeah, you on with all the games. Yeah. Yeah. Like all that little sweet shit you be telling me. What the fuck? Boy, get the fuck out my face! I snap the fuck out of you. Nah, I'm cool. I, I be like, I be cool. like, LOL, that's cute. It's not even. Hey, bro, that's I cheated on sure. you. Oh, bro, when well, you don't got a fuck. sister, you get all that information yeah. from best friend. I be like, yeah, oh, God, that's how you doing these niggas. What? Check on bro, girl. Right, yeah, you it, it, like, be, it be out here. Trenches. Then they hit that. He's slick as hell. They get the revealing all the methods and shit. One thing about women, we will not get caught cheating unless we really want you to know. Oh, God. Like, this is the reason why, though. Because y'all be cheating with bitches. Never that want to be seen. Nah, we don't cheat real. with niggas that want to be seen. All of our niggas know how to play the game. They gonna keep it peace. Niggas don't get no fuck. Niggas just want some pussy. Some bitch niggas do give a fuck though. Yeah. Yeah. Some niggas do give a fuck though. They some really niggas. doing some shit. Some sassy motherfuckers. It's the sassy. Right? It's the sassy. Sure, I just know how to play my role. Yeah, I was gonna say like essentially it's like gotta know how to play role, but niggas be wanting attention too. But them, you feel me? That's a whole nice story. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know what's. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I really don't even know what's cheating for real. I just be asking shit. Right, I right. feel like having sex with somebody is like, that's, 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 that's like obvious. basic cheating. Like, that's but obvious, like, though. Like, but that's, see, that's the like, only thing I'm really thinking. Huh? It's flirting and cheating. 
Would you want your bitch I'm a natural flirt. Like, me I'm personally, like, 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 me personally, I'm a natural flirt. So I might walk up to you and be like, "Hey," and you might think I'm flirting because of my eyes. Like you feel me, or like yeah, the way I said, "Hey." Yeah. So it's not me flirting. I'm just you feel me. I'm I just look like at like in a, a, a brick of brick. Don't like, do none of that shit. Be single. <laughs> it's just period, point blank. Be single if you're gonna do shit like that. But also, I feel like if you can't handle somebody, like if. You know that that's how that person is, and well, you can't yeah, handle that. Too. That's like some you're insecure. If yeah. you like, that's kind of like a nigga fucking with a bad bitch. All right, you fucking with a bad bitch. Now you're mad because all these niggas know that she's a bad oh, bitch, yeah. and she gonna them keep them being them. a bad bitch. Yeah. But you mad and trying to not make her be a bad bitch, like yeah. t- bring her down and shit like that. You knew you yeah. had a bad bitch when you, you met her. You supposed to be a bad bitch now. Is she a bad bitch? Hey, hey, some real shit. Don't get a bad bitch if you can't handle it. Oh God, because they will have you crying. You feel me? We will have you crying. Shit, it don't be crazy. worth it. Like no, it don't be I'm worth it. Crazy. Crazy. Y'all need to experience. Situation shit. I'm not gonna lie. I've been in a few situationships and they be a little bit more fun than relationships because yeah. you don't got no title, no nothing. You just be like open, vibes. You could talk I, and they don't even get mad. It just, just be like, like I the fuck every. But everybody not the same. Like you can't have that mentality with every single girl. You of know? course, every bitch is not like that. I know I've met a lot of girls. You got to move up, like so accordingly to how they move. Because I ain't want cuffing material. That's that's fucked up. <laughs> I met a couple cool females, and they was yeah. and they was fucking with you. No, I was fucking with. I'm just saying they cool. Shit. No, I'm saying like like me on the level of fucking with a female. No, I'm shit. okay. Yeah. Yep. Get a grip. Uh, Be fucking for real. I don't fuck. <laughs> they probably. Even yeah, I'm not mean. I promise. You cool. I'm not mean. I'm just honest. That's oh God, some cool. people can't handle honesty. That's they be like, "You're rude" or "You're mean." No, bitch. I'm just telling you what you don't want to hear. You, I'm, I'm telling you what honest. you can't tell yourself. That honest shit, motherfuckers don't be ready for the yeah. truth sometimes. You be like, "You for real?" That's nah, right, bitch. I'm, I'm for fake. Yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like that's why I don't got too many friends because you feel like me. I'm just gonna be like, "Hey, motherfucker, like this. What the fuck going on, man?" A lot of <laughs> motherfuckers don't be wanting to hear that shit. But my that's friends, right. they be cool when I be like, "Hey, ready?" They be like, "All right, ready?" During that 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 I feel like. <laughs> but hey. some motherfuckers like when I be trying, when I be trying to keep holding them up, be like, "Oh no, I don't know." I feel like as a friend i'm a love bombing friend like i'll come around you for like three days four days straight and then i won't talk to you for like a month but that's just me I'm active like you feel me like but it's just like because honestly like i'll come see you it'd be like two three days straight we're gonna kick it we're gonna hang out i'm gonna catch up with you see you in a month not we don't got shit else to talk about unless i like call you like you need something don't like of course you can call me but like I feel like we shouldn't have to talk every day for us to be friends. Like, we've grown as hell now. It's a lot of shit going on. And the motherfuckers that be like, damn, what happened for you fake as hell? Them the motherfuckers that ain't got shit Ooh, you want to know what I hate so bad? I hate when motherfuckers be like, oh, you're Hollywood. I'm not Hollywood. I just don't fuck with you. You're not gay. You're not gay. Like, bro, I don't come around a lot no more. And, like, motherfuckers be like, I don't see you around. You acting Hollywood. I'm not acting Hollywood. I just. Damn, shitty motherfucker do a talk show. Motherfucker can't slide. I don't motherfucking no more. <laughs> I damn sure so you see I'm at the store. Like you see I'm busy. You see I'm doing nah, stuff and you talking about I'm Hollywood. Like, no, nigga, I'm grinding. What you mean? I'm so really I'm, I'm, I'm here. Like, with the motion. Like you need to get some motion too. Oh you god. Oh, real motion. Real motion girls. Real motion girls. Yeah, Stop yeah, playing. Yeah, That's what I'm talking about. Pay with your mama. Pay with your mama. Pay with your mama. Pay with your mommy. Yeah. Not me. Yeah. That's hey, back to what you were saying though, talking about focus somebody on your Oh, I feel yes. Oh my gosh, this is such a big thing What's to me. Motion, I, motion, is motion is getting money. Motion is getting to it. Uh, it's having that motivation, that ambition. That okay, I don't want to do this shit, but I'm gonna get up today and still do this shit because yeah, I need man, to. Like that's you. motion. I don't give a fuck how much money you make. You could have all the money. I feel this is another thing. You could have all the money in the world and still be a bum. Like I swear to God, that's you just a bum with money. Like literally, but like. Motion is literally just getting to it. Like mm-hmm. having that ambition that all right, I'm gonna keep doing this and doing this and doing this and doing this yeah, until yeah. this shit blow. Mm-hmm. Like you feel me? Like that's motion. Don't 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 you date a nigga or a bitch, bitch with motion if you don't have no motion. motion. That shit nah, is like bro, ridiculous. You out of line as hell. Like why would you even put your like why would you, why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you girl, We keep talking about that shit like why I just that shit. How do y'all feel wait, hold on, I got a question. How do y'all feel about like okay, so nope. say you go on a date and a girl pays for your date? How do y'all feel about that? Like, sure, how, what would be the I'm first be, thing? I'm hella kisser. real. Like, I'm, I'm being hella real. You wouldn't kiss her? He said I'm a kisser. You said what? That's different. That's funny. I was going to say, like, I'm being hella real. Like, I'm, I'm traditional as fuck. So how I'm raised is like, 
how my pops always raised me is, you feel me? You take care of that, you feel me? At Literally. the end of the day, so I be hating. I be hating. Yeah, I I like, that way. should be, like, like, I ain't gonna fly. It's like, like, even, like, really even a part of me would just be like, damn. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm one of them, like, I the hate, first, like, I hate, man. I hate niggas being able to say like, oh, that you did this for me or you gave me this. So like, I'm a very like, oh, we finna go out. We going to the movies. I got an AMC gift card. We going out to dinner. I pay for the tip. Matter of fact, I go half on the bill. Matter of fact, you want, you want to go out to eat? I'm finna take you out to eat. Cause I fucks with you, you feel oh, me? No, but like, so right. I feel like some niggas be taking advantage I was of that just shit. About to say, though, like on some real okay. shit, hey, on some real shit, no, y'all, 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 y'all niggas be thinking that bitches be out here looking for niggas with money. Niggas be out here looking for the bitches with money. Cause bitches oh God, be tricking off y'all, be, really like y'all be looking for bitches with money. Y'all be looking for the biggest nah, tricks. Really. We gon' bro, when we like you, we don't give a fuck. You niggas be money like when you That's the second motherfucker to say that on here. Like, like, look, and if you want to know on some real shit, if you look, and if you know me and you watching this. And if you want to know if I ever fucked with you for real, just ask yourself if I ever paid. Oh God, if I ever bought you because anything, because if I ever bought you something, that's how you, that's how you know. know I really fucked with nah, you. Really. Because if I didn't like you, you spending that shit. Baby, I'm, I'm a trick. Shit out of my pocket. <laughs> I'm oh a God. trick when I like you. Better you better be a trick. Hey, extra that, that's the problem though. Fuck you talking about? Really like Chanel you, me, bitch. I wanna <laughs> spend my money on like I just like see some shit on Instagram. I'm like, oh yeah, my nigga, you look so good in this. That's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem right there. Is I be trying to trick on my nigga. Yes, and it be like so like, bro. Like, I love girls like that. <laughs> like, you love girls like that. that. Shit, like, it never happened to me though, but I love girls. Yeah. I just be in, I just be in a room thinking like Ooh, that. Wait, okay, this, I have another question. How y'all feel about strippers? I like, wish I had, I had a bitch like that. Shit, I wish I had a bitch like me. What you oh God, I wish I had a bitch like Not me. Not real, like bro. If I had a nigga like me, bro, I swear bro, to God, what? if, if I, I had me, I'd get married right now. Y'all would never see me. I'm talking about right now. Y'all would never see me. Right now, of course. Yes, I would invest in my nigga. But you said look, let me get another pay Look, I'm finna. Right now, back there. I don't need right smoke now. for real. Let me just get that bitch on board. Let me get a cake for you. You smoke weed. I, I just like, got you a three five, bitch. Y'all, 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 I'm Support finna give you man. some like okay, this is how I do it, especially mm-hmm. with niggas because you don't ever know what a nigga oh, like. Bitch. I'm finna give you something real little oh, and like you gonna think I'm broke because I gave you like a fucking like some socks or something, right? Um, that's gonna be my first gift ever to you. And how you move off of that? Is what I'm finna give you next. So you oh, appreciate that? Oh God, be bitch, you getting five thousand dollars if you want for your next gift? Like oh, you feel me? But I ain't finna. You look at my gift and be like, I'm finna be like, I right, bitch, you getting mints next time? You not getting shit next time. You not getting a damn thing. I get you a mint. How about that? Oh shit, like that? Do I appreciate that? Mm-hmm. Motherfucker, a lot of females don't really get up. And uh, that's because a lot of females also don't have shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's another or thing. Or they be lying. Bro, can we really talk doing. about how many females sit here and talk about this lifestyle that they be living? But the only reason why they live that lifestyle is because they niggas be providing it for them. What I be, but not what, even I, what I dislike the, 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 the most, what I dislike the most, it be somebody's husband. Somebody's husband paying that hush money. I was about to say, yeah. Somebody daddy. Somebody boyfriend. Or really, let's talk about these Somebody niggas over. and how they be taking it in the ass and having all that money. Whoa. Wait, yes, I'm we done taking took it, it there. I'm taking it I was just about to say, we no, done took look, it this is something somewhere. that I really want to talk about. Like, Whoa. <laughs> this is like, <laughs> on some real shit. Like, That's so bad. But if you listen to me, listen to me. They be taking what? Listen to me. Listen Whoa. to me. They be what? <laughs> Niggas dropping soap in this bitch. She knows somebody. She She knows somebody. She knows somebody. Can we sit here? Look, I'm finna I'm finna look. I'm finna put this into perspective. Like, you know, you got you got them real getting money niggas, right? You feel me? They up pape all the time. Like they Right, like real, I'll say, I'll, like real motion niggas, and you wondering how they got this shit because they don't, Diddy. they don't sell nothing, they don't, they don't scam, or they be want to be scammers and shit. Don't have no job, don't got no business, not nothing, <laughs> don't got shit, but uh, somehow always got this money. It's because they be taking it in the ass, like on some real shit, or like some drug dealers, like they really. Take their homies down just for some up front Ooh, for a pack. Wait, what? Yes, for a pack. Wow. Yes, some niggas will take about, their homie down for a front for a pack. You, you ain't got the you ain't got the two fifty. You ain't got the two thousand for the for the pound. Oh, okay. Suck my dick, then, nigga. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. That's how Where the is fuck is they doing that at? They not doing that shit in Chicago. They is, not They not doing that shit in Chicago. That's I'm leaving over there. You owe me two bands, nigga. I'm going to my money. Fuck that shit. Look, you just act that out. I would not kill that shit. Hey. Hey, I'm rolling. Look, the fact that y'all... Sitting here and being like, no, that can't happen. That can't happen. It's I ain't saying that can't happen. happen. I 
ain't saying it can't happen, yeah, but I'm yeah. saying where's that happening? No, I'm like Chicago. No, that's everywhere. Oh, y'all, that's way more common than y'all think. Did y'all hear about that lady that um she walked in on her drug dealer and and like one of his fiends or something, and they was fucking and um and she hurried up and left out, but she went on live and told the whole story, and they killed her the same day. Same day, got up with her ass because she she knew about some shit that she wasn't supposed to know. She went on. That's what she really fucked up. This is always she went on live and told, hold on, hold on, and told hold on, everything. Hold on, but they got her ass the same day for that. Niggas don't play that shit. Niggas don't play that. Uh, um, that you know everybody that. knowing their business shit when it comes to shit like that being undercover. But if you, I just feel like if you really like niggas, then just like niggas, like. You feel me? Like, live no, your you truth. Do. Live your truth. Why I was going to say, motherfuckers be scared to be them. Be you, gang. That's oh, you God. into. Like, but like, hey, that's you into, gang. Like, be into that shit. Be into that shit. But the one thing I, I, I ain't gonna fly is now I do be motherfuckers that be like, shorty, they'd be like, oh, who out the band be doing that shit? And then be like homophobic and shit. Bro. Oh God! And if you're like, I feel like honestly, if you're really homophobic, that's a red flag to me. Yeah, because that's like ridiculous. Ain't why no, are you bro, so concerned that another nigga real. is doing? Ain't no way in hell life. you that down bad on trying to get ain't some. Shit wrong, trying, ain't, ain't shit wrong, Ain't shit wrong. Ain't shit wrong. But you struggling that hard to get some pussy? That you y'all, what's some red flags that y'all what's got? Some? Red flag. Okay, wait. I, let's do it for women. Well, I was going to say it for my mama because I was. Y'all could do for women and we'll do the ones for men. Go ahead, Shaw. All right, Shorty. I ain't going to lie. My biggest red flag, my biggest red flag, she got a baby on phone. That's a red flag, Shorty. <laughs> she, she I ain't going to lie. That's my biggest red flag. <laughs> she, say, got a, she got a baby. I will not, I cannot, I will not, cannot. <laughs> oh, God, look. Hey, why I was fucking with this one nigga, right? And he was so cool, bro. It was fairy tale vibes. I swear to. Shut the fuck up. Look, I'm going to get to that part. Bro, it was fairy tale vibes. It was so nice. No. Like, oh my God. Like, bro. And y'all, he had a nice car too. That shit was like crazy. Like, you know, he take me through the city going like 200 miles an hour. I feel like I'm in okay. Fast and Furious. Yeah. You, know you, know you know who I'm talking about, bro. I feel like I'm going to, he making my whole Fast and the Furious dream come true. I'm talking about doing donuts, all types of shit. Skrr. Bitch, why the fuck his mama invite me to the house and she got a baby in her hand? She talking about, yeah, this is baby. <laughs> What? <laughs> Who baby? I stuck it through though. I stuck it through. We still cool. I'll be stepping. She got a nigga in jail. Red flag. Oh, niggas in jail is it's definitely a red flag. She got a nigga in jail. Red I honestly, flag. Me personally, oh, like I'll never fuck with him again. But like I'm the type of person when I tell a nigga I got them, I'm finna see that shit through. I don't care if we fell off bad or nothing. Like you need me, I got you. Like that's mm. just me, and that's how I am. I, we could get into it real bad. Like. Bitch, fuck you, like, but I'm still, I still got you. If we get into it, I'm never. I stab you and then go <laughs> take you. <laughs> I'm never talk to you ever. Like I swear to God, if we get into it, if hey, we uh, really get into know. it, you will never hear. You from will me never again. hear from me again. Uh, Sorry, uh, my grandma, that shit ever. dead. I don't got shit for oh, but we get into it. Fuck you, fuck you, talk <laughs> out. And it's heavy fuck on that you. shit. I really don't hold we grudges gone. though. Like I, I really don't give a fuck. I don't like, hold grudges. Oh, my mom is just I like, it's you after you. I say fuck you, I, I said fuck you. Yeah, 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 Ain't it. nothing hell. I'm so I'm I didn't damn that. Who you said? Who you said? Who you, who you but look, I'm some real shit. Like for me, it's just the fact that like, okay, we cool now. Now you finna have to sit there and suffer on watching me become better. No, oh, I'm about to I would never you. block a motherfucker. Oh, I'm about to I would block never block, block a motherfucker. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's you not even about blocking. Done. It's like we're still cool. I fucks with you. You feel me? Like, I'm never gonna discourage or discredit like the vibe that was there. Or, like, you know how we fucked with each other as friends. But at the same now, time, people be doing that. You feel me? You're yeah. like, I'm never gonna people discredit you when you were there for me. Like, I'm never going to discredit that. You was there for me or yeah. what you put me yeah, on to. You feel oh me? God. That's why I always stay friends. But as far as no. fucking with you ever again. Like, and I'm not talking about like best friends. Uh, I'm talking about like, I see you. Cordial. You see me. What uh, up? Cordial. Or like, you okay, slide up on one of my right. stories. Ha ha. Okay. Keep talking. You feel me? Like, that's my type of, oh, okay, we could still be friends. But I'm heavy on that. Like, yeah, yeah if I tell you, friend. bro, yeah. but like, if I'm heavy on that, like, if I tell you I got you and like, we get into it or like, I stop fucking with you, I still got you. Like, I don't give no fuck about none of that yeah, shit. Yeah, you need it. Like, oh, I can't God. do like, it. Like, bro, what? I can't. Especially it's, if you fucked me over certain, and you think I'm about to come through for you. It depends on, it depends on how. It does. It depends on the fallout. It depends on the fallout. It depends on the fallout. I feel like if the fallout was really, really bad, then fuck you. But if it wasn't that bad and it was more like, like a, oh, it was like all right. We both we went our separate. Like right. yeah, like we That's knew that different. we was right person, wrong time. Like we was talking yeah, about like okay, if okay, it was okay. like that. Yeah, I'm finna still stay your friend. Then Fine. yeah, yeah. I'll probably I be that. at your wedding watching you get married to your bitch. No. <laughs> and looking in the crowd no. like yeah, no. that's me. No, let me stop playing, y'all. 
Yeah, I'm like, I ain't that. I ain't that good. No. Go <laughs> no. do your thing, gang. Oh, bro, send me hey, pictures. Imagine going to like your ex. <laughs> send me pictures, gang. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine going to your ex wedding and just seeing first row like this. So, oh wait! Just imagine going there. to your ex wedding, yeah. shorty, being yeah. pulling yeah. off in the best car. Oh, you got God. the best suit on. You and that bitch like, see, oh, and bro, that's hey, the only everybody reason. at the end of the wedding like, oh my God! No, the that's the reason. The fuck is that? That's the reason why I would go to a wedding though, because it's gonna be like you're about to get married to her, but I'm about to walk out this bitch, and everybody gonna be asking who I am. So it's like, really, who won here? Come okay. on, be serious. Like that's why I don't. Ah, stand up. up. Thank you. <laughs> Taking this wreckage. Oh, bro, I got my, my arms. Arms. I got my rolling on. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, nah, for real though. Shit, make make a grand entrance in that bitch and everything. Damn, they have a Bluetooth speaker in my in my pocket. <laughs> Some motion. Wait, I hit it. 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 I hit Oh, I mean, red flags. Was, uh, oh, red, red flags. flags. Yes, oh, okay, let's damn. Oh, I, ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. If I walk into your crib and you got a box of condoms on your dresser, that was. I ain't gonna lie. So that was a now, red flag. Now what? Yes. She taking care of herself though. She making sure she not out it's here. Right. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. Hold on. Here's here's what I feel like. Yeah, bro, it's okay, a, look. But that means you, you got a new you box of condoms. If that bitch open, you got a new box of condoms. Cool. You got a box of condoms that's been open and there's five of them bitches in there <laughs> in a 50 yeah. pack? I ain't gonna oh lie. my god. No, Shorty. I five out of 50 is and crazy. That's wild. That's, that's wild. wild. That's hell. We need 25 <laughs> bodies. Of I'm gonna be crazy, like that. <laughs> I feel like a really big red flag to me is when a nigga is in illiter- like illiterate. Like yes, that oh my god, I hate is when a nigga so not, red not flag at the, is. Not at, not when we ordering food, right? If yes, you just talking about regular. I'm talking life. about illiterate any type of way. Don't get me wrong. Take I love. Food. Yes. I'd be like, uh, I let me a, get a. No, I hate I'd be like, I hate uh, a, let me get. I hate a nigga that spells with half words, and you be sitting there like, uh, mm, yeah, mm, what? Yeah, they be trying, trying to. to I feel like you can substitute certain you words. Can. Like, you can, like I. But I, your whole fucking sentence. Yeah. But you can't. I hate the motherfuckers that come up with like acronyms for anything. Like right. what the fuck is GFWTY? <laughs> I don't know what the, <laughs> what the fuck, fuck is all them letters. They be like, get the fuck on, motherfucker, before I get like what the. Be fuck fucking for real right nah, now. For real. Uh, I be uh, hating that shit. But I feel like we always know what the fuck that shit mean. Every time I see Ooh. one of them long ass Nah, videos, for all right, no. Y'all, another red flag is when a guy doesn't wear his watch on the right wrist. Like, you know how they, you know, you're supposed to wear on. But see, that depends. I was just about to say, like, it depends on your dominant hand. Right. But if you're wearing it on the wrong wrist, that's still fucked up because that means okay, you don't yeah. know what the fuck you're doing. Well, right? I don't yeah. understand. This is a. This is like, like even I, I hate it. the niggas that be having like four fucking watches. They just trying to flex. Like, just to flex. But see, just that's and that's the part off. of social and don't media don't that know remember we time. was talking about. That's I'm like, like, like what? Can't you can't tell time. time. None of them bitches work. None of them bitches have moved. It's been twelve o'clock for four hours, gang. On the program. Like what the fuck, like niggas uh, hit that, niggas hit that no, damn. For real. Hey, that, you'll be like, what time it is? <laughs> you you be like, what time it is? Motherfucker pulling out their phone. Got phone got watch that's that's you got four watches on. Shut up. Hey. <laughs> That's a red flag. Oh god. Man. Hey, I got an Apple Watch. I use that bitch for I just my broke days my again. I'm mad. Oh, I'm pissed. I, mean, I dropped my I shit. Hated in it. Pond, I, I actually oh, like mama, it was watch. funny. Yeah, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is such a funny story. So I had an Apple Talk Watch and I had slept over one of my man's house. Uh-oh. Not one, but like my man at the time or whatever. I was say, Whoa. No, not one. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I got niggas. Yeah, That's not. one thing. You're not wrong. You feel me? I got niggas. I'm single and I'm out here living. I'm dating or whatever. You feel me? Like I got I wouldn't consider them my niggas though. They're more like friends. Cool people. Like, yeah, you so know, like cool. but they they my niggas though. You mean like oh. Y'all cool. But yeah, I had slept over my man house and I left my Apple Watch on the thing and you know he had cheated on me or whatever, so I cheated worse. Yeah. He went through my Apple, Apple Watch. Watch. He went through my Apple Watch and like I had I was talking to a basketball player, so that kind of hurt a little bit because he was yeah. like, you know, you know when niggas ain't really. Damn, like, I watch his ass. Athletic, oh, athletic. You gonna get a motherfucker who no, watch, he was, I be watching. He was a basketball player, uh, was, but he wasn't. Uh, like the other a, nigga was better than him. Yeah, he was uh, like league type shit. Damn, and the other one damn. was like. <laughs> 
like community yeah. center. You can't even shit. hit that 1v1 for, for her love. Fuck you, you can't even hit you a three point. You can't even do that shit. Damn, she said motherfucker can't hit a three point. But yeah, that shit. Stop. I would never use the Apple Watch again <laughs> because of that. You won't catch me slipping. <laughs> but I was in there. Why you put a password on it? I did put password. He put it in. I don't He's know how hell. To That's so hell. He's sassy what? for real. That's crazy. Motherfucker be like. Why you putting your shit in? He been looking. Oh, oh my god! Oh god! I be doing that shit too. That nigga going okay. to sleep Literally. at night. Oh my god! Is she, imagine, is she doing hey, imagine getting slapped up out your sleep, bitch. Wake up. <laughs> with the Apple Watch. With the Apple Watch. That's why. That's, 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 that's how I am. I you really, it, I get you quiet. It. You, you, you don't even want to know what I'm thinking because my next move, I'm finna kill your ass. Like on some real shit. I'm about to put my hands. Hey, I hate when niggas be like, "You're crazy." I told you I was crazy. Nah. You wanted to keep messing with when me. When I get my leg what back, I'll be hurting the soul, child. I don't know that. You be what? I don't even get my leg back, shirt. Me neither, I just really. Be, like, that shit. I, I feel like. I get on motherfuckers' no. ass. I be like, fuck you on my mama. You gone, bitch. <laughs> I feel Stay like the best look back is just like growing and becoming exactly like, oh, like bro, becoming hey, becoming right. somebody they that they can't like, even right. touch. Like we're not even in the same rooms right. no more. Where I met you at, I will never go back to. I like put honestly, you in the room. Bitch, uh, like you weren't even that until you started messing with me, and that's a really big thing. Hey, on some real shit, room. like on some real shit, when it comes to yeah. niggas, like you know, we be talking to our friends or whatever, and then me making the nigga like look good to our friends. Whole time this nigga is so bad. Now you know you have one of them little friends or like somebody that you don't talk to your nigga about try to go fuck with that nigga and he th- and she thinking that that nigga's gonna do what he did for you for her and now it's just like yeah, what the no, fuck bitch, that shit is like crazy that's why I don't understand I don't understand, I don't no. understand why motherfuckers cuff yeah. motherfuckers that like say for instance you took a motherfucker bitch and then you cuff Bro, that means your oh bitch God, get like, why would you even trust a motherfucker fuck, like that? Like, why the fuck would you cuff her? You uh, just took her, which means she can get took, motherfucker. They don't so be, like, they don't be getting that, bro. They don't be. Getting they don't be getting that. They don't get it. Maybe that's just what that I'm just saying. Every time, too. <laughs> no, that shit happen Maybe every that's time. Just How do y'all feel about marriage? I want to get married on broke grade. <laughs> you said that so cute. Because I, I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to have. So that's nice. My my parents ain't get married. It's you, okay. I want to get married. If you, you if you, but I want to get married. To an extent though. Can I be honest? As like a lady, I don't feel like I ever get married. Not like on some papers. Like Zero. no. And if I do get married, yeah, I like, like that. Marriage. Like I look, if I do get married, we're signing a prenup. Prenup because you're not getting none of my money. Yeah. Like I mean, just honestly, yeah. that's, that's it. but you I can buy me like, a ring though. I feel so. With marriage, I, like, I feel like with marriage, that's the only thing that I I I I be skipping over and forgetting that part. But it's like at the end of the day, it's like I'm gonna take all the precautions in the world before I even marry a motherfucker. Oh, like God. it's gonna God. be like I'm a I'm a. I, I gotta meet your family, like you feel me, like you gotta that, see that's what motherfuckers be. Oh God, you gotta see who was how they was raised, all type of shit. So it's like you gotta really do your research before you fuck with. Them. So it's like. When I get married, it's like, I ain't really going to be too much folks on the prenup shit because it's like, I'm going to marry my one. Like, I'm not trying to get married, then get divorced and do all that shit. Like, when I get married, it's like, that's it. Like, you feel me? That's what I'm saying. That's it. Ain't no baby daddy, baby mama shit. Like, you feel me? You my wife. I always say that. I am not fit to be a baby mama because, bitch, I am a wife. Oh, my. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not going for that baby daddy I'm not going to be out here chasing your ass. I'm not going to be out here crying to you. But what? You got I am not going to have no babies. G, I feel like, G, I feel like that's. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I forgot you a baby mama. Bitch, <laughs> okay, fuck. Shout out to all the single women out here that do hey, not bro, they now, your ass, baby daddy. Y'all, 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 y'all raise, y'all raise some kings, and y'all no do y'all shit. Y'all raise some y'all kings, no back. Okay, no yeah, back. kings and cool but okay, okay, let's have a real question then, since we talking about this. So, what up? What up? Do you think a woman can raise a boy to be a man? No. I actually, okay. I'm gonna be the person to like kind of be on the opposite tip of it. Whoa. I feel like. I feel like a woman can raise the man that she wants. Ooh. Type of thing. That's, 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 that's what that's as a mother She that, she as can as raise mother. the man that she wants. Yeah. Yeah. That she wants it out of the man. man. At, exactly. So it's like safe. Go on. As a single Bitch, come over here. Okay, wait. <laughs> Sit down. I was like, bro, bro. As a single mother raising a son, no. I mean she Why do you feel like you can't raise Because I'm not a man. I can't like Okay, I can I can guide him in the way that I want him to be, but it's like I feel like every child deserves a father. You feel me? Yeah. But I'm not I'm not gonna force a nigga to be a father. But what? Okay, I got a question for you. Mm-hmm. What type of man do you want? 
I want a, I want a man to be in his child's life. But, but I'm, I'm saying not gonna outside of, outside of being a father, what type of man do you I want? I want a man. I want a man that provide. I want a man that you know. But like so a, that, a nigga, a nigga. So I'm saying, listen, listen, listen. Wait, wait, wait. You want you want a man that provide. You want but a man. A nigga so teach that to your kid. A nigga, a nigga ain't gonna want a bitch that sit on her ass all day. Okay, so teach that to your kid, okay. and that's raising a but man. It's different because a woman cannot raise a man. To be a man, and a man cannot raise a, a woman to be a woman. Yeah, yeah. You was in a relationship with your baby daddy. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I was. I I got two kids, a girl and a boy. Right. The first, my girl, she two. I was not in a relationship with him. My son, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm drunk. My son, <laughs> I was in a relationship with his father, and I he cheated on me. My whole relationship, our relationship. That's just stupid. But do I, but wait wait, I give him props to be a father now. Wait, he be he's a father when he wanna be. But as a woman, I will never make a man be a father. Cause as a woman, I'm gonna right. take care of my kids. Like, I just feel like I still just feel like it's possible for a woman to raise a man because like at the end of the day. It's like, not though. It's, it's not. not like you can like it's you can, possible. Wait, 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 wait. I'm it's sorry. possible. I'm wait, gonna say you do have some very masculine women. You thing. have you have you very know? masculine women. But at the same time, like this is what this and you also have day, women that have a lot of have, female, I mean, male figures in their but life. But at the end, well. day, at that and you um, have women. You have women that are women, wait, 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 real wait. women. A child, so. a child needs his father as much as he needs his mother. Yeah. So, 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 as far as it goes you. from like a mother raising a son, can a father raise a woman? Can no. a man raise a woman? Can a can a can man a, raise? A, be, be, can a man be raise a girl can to a, be a woman? Yes. Can yes. He? No, he cannot. Yes, he, I just, can. he can. He can. He can train her to be just, the just woman. Just like what I'm saying. Man. Just like how I'm saying. And I no, feel like it's vice versa from an emotional perspective. From, no. But that's a what I'm saying. Like, a man can raise a woman to be the woman he wants her to be. Right. But just he like, just raise, like vice he versa. That's what I'm saying. But from somebody who was raised by her father, I think you are a strong, independent woman. But, but, but you do what you want. Right. Why? Because you're a woman. Like a man fine. can. But that's what I'm saying with my mama. I had a single woman. mama, and she raised a man. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, at the end of the day, because she know at the end of the day what a just man like is, even woman. though she is not a man. It's like, okay, men do this. This is what men do. But so son, day, this is what I'm going but to teach. But at the end of the day, she's not a woman. She's not a man. But she can it's teach. It depends teach. on the female. She can, right? teachers, she can do as teachers much teach as she can. She can do as much as she can. Teachers teach you math. Teachers teach you like you go to Bible class. They not a pastor, but they teach you shit in the Bible. Just like that. teaching you a man, she like she can do as much as she can. My shit was raised by just women, like my ex, her baby daddy, my and baby a lot of a lot of men that wait, act wait, the way wait, they. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, men that are raised by women are fucking crazy. That men that are raised, are. men that have, and that's men. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, that's that's like some real shit. Wait, wait, I feel like thanks. the most sassiest men come from that part. Wait, hold on. Let me finish my oh, sentence, shit. y'all. Nah, the the, the, oh, the shit. sassiest men come from families that have be, that they wait, literally are that? raised all by women. And thanks. you want to know why? Because they literally don't see nothing but women. Well, so they, they get in their fucking yeah. feelings. They want to be oh, sassy. Block, they want to block you. They want they want you. No, they want you to chase them because they feel like that's a cat. And you're not. A lot of motherfuckers. A lot of motherfuckers. I feel like they like a lot of motherfuckers that even do be have a. I feel like. I feel like. I feel like a lot of motherfuckers that even do be have a father. I feel like a lot of. Gee, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like a lot of motherfuckers. I feel like a lot of motherfuckers that have father role models too. Though it's like, I boom, grew up with a father, cool, but they still turn out. Hold on, but see, I'm talking about motherfuckers that got their real daddy. That's what I'm talking about. No, that's what I'm saying. Because I've had a father figure. No, nah, listen, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She still spiding so strong. She still spiding so strong. It ain't nothing fucking new. Lately, I be moving chickens like I work at Lincoln Zoo. This your chance.